Hey, I'm Ben Saxton from the British Sailing Team. We're here on the Marlow Stand at the Southampton Boat Show. We're going to make some soft shackles for the first time in my life. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need some splicing fids and some Dyneema rope. Uh, they're essentially quite an easy thing to do. We just need to pass the Dyneema through itself and tie one knot. Couldn't be easier, right? Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to get my fid and I'm going to send it down the centre of the Dyneema. And you just send it down the length that you want your soft shackle to be. So you're going to end up with a little loop and a section where there's two sets of Dyneema. You want to make sure you leave yourself enough of the two tails now to be able to tie your diamond knot. Things you'd use the soft shackle for. Uh, boats I've sailed on, you can attach your jib sheets to them. You can basically use it for any shackle but uh, you can make it out of rope. So the advantage is it's quite light. It's also really strong. Um, yeah, and so you can use it for halyards or sheets or the tack line of the spinnaker so that when you de the spinnaker each evening then you don't have to, uh, you don't have to completely untie your ropes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you use it for? Yeah, exactly that. And it can significantly reduce the wear and tear on your sailing equipment as well. So at points where you'd have shackles rubbing against your deck or your sails uh, this is going to be a much softer and kinder alternative to your equipment okay so once we've got our loop in the end I'm just going to put a bar through so I don't pull that loop out and now I'm going to tie my diamond knot okay so I've got my two tails I'm going to put one side resting over the other and now with the piece that's resting underneath I'm going to create a circle and rest it on top. So I've essentially framed this one piece of rope. So my objective now is to tuck under this tail and pick out this one piece that I've framed. Yep. So I'm going through, so I'm threading it, weaving through those to create a carrot bend. It's more the kind, it's a decorative knot, the kind you, people use for, you know, floor mats. I now need to take these legs from one side to the opposite and up to the very centre. So I'm going to go around the leg and up the centre. Okay. Now with this side, around this leg and up the very centre. So that they should both exit out of the same hole. It's difficult to know, once you pull it tight, you should be able to see that it, it starts to form the knot we're looking for. And then it's just a case of I've got slack here. I just want to work the slack through the rope. And this can take some time just to work it round and get the knot, knot as tight as you can. So once you've got your knot nice and tight, you want to make sure that when it goes under load, it's not going to pull apart by the knot contracting more and these ends slipping through. So we need to try and get it as tight as possible. So I'll just tie a reef knot in the end. And what I would do if I had this on my boat is I would put one end onto a static object and one end onto a winch and I would winch this as tight as possible so this knot will close up. If I don't have a winch, if I'm doing this for a dinghy, then I'm, as I'm doing here, I'm just gonna give it everything I've got to pull it as tight as possible. Uh, trimming off. We're just leaving a little bit of a tail on the end in case the knot contracts anymore. We want to leave that as a little bit of a safety margin for to suck inside the knot. 